After you've logged into your VDEC account, you can access the help by going to the upper right hand corner and clicking on the golden question mark with the help link beside it. After you click the help link, you'll be taken to www.ipwhelp.com, stand for ipowerwebhelp.com. Here you'll be able to access a variety of tutorials that will take you step by step through many of the processes you'll have to engage in after you purchase your server. One process most people will have to do is domain transfer. This can be somewhat difficult if you don't have a step-by-step -step tutorial. After you click Domain Transfer, you'll see that a menu appears in the right. Here you'll be able to choose which tutorial to access. You can make domain name changes at Yahoo, Strategic, Registerfly, or one of the other many domain registrars that are on the internet. Right now we'll just choose to use Yahoo. After we click the Yahoo link, we'll be taken to the tutorial. The screen will open. As you see here, you have a picture and you have directions at the top. These directions say to go to sbssmallbusiness.yahoo.com. Here we see that URL in the browser bar. The next step, we see the Yahoo Home Business. It tells us to log in. And as you see, the process is laid out step by step. There's also email tutorials, which is another item that many people need help with. Again, like the uh, server setup and the domain transfer, once you click this link, you'll see a right hand menu with all the many email clients that you can learn how to synchronize with your iPower Web account. We'll choose Outlook Express 2002. There's also 2003 in earlier editions. And like before, just as with Yahoo, we see directions are given us at the top and helpful pictures are displayed below. iPower Web Help has approximately over 100 tutorials. There's not time to go through them all, but after you get your account, feel free to stop in and check them all out.